Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Catholic Peak Skills Lenten Moments. So glad you're with us. Usually on Wednesdays, we meet with the CCD kids and we give them a little story. And I have a whole series of stories that I share with the kids about a young boy named Shane. One particular time, Shane came home from school. He knew the rule that he wasn't allowed to go in the cookie jar before dinner. He did it anyway. And his mother asked him, Shane, did you eat a cookie? No, mommy. He said, it was a lie. The problem was later on he went to his room to study and guess who followed him in? The lie did. When he went to go for dinner, he couldn't believe it was following him. The lie followed him. After dinner, went back to his room. And when it was time to go to bed, the lie sat on his bed. The next day, went on the bus with him to school and followed him to school and interrupted his peace at, at playtime and finally got home and said, Mommy, I have to tell you something. You asked me if I ate a cookie. I did. I'm sorry, Mom. And the lie disappeared. And this little parable of the boy Shane, he was followed by, by the lie. The slavery that our own lives bring to us trap us in the prison of our own sinfulness. And the Lord Jesus today in the Gospel says, the truth will set you free. This is the liberty and peace that the Lord wants us to have, to know the truth, to embrace it, and to be freed from the trap of sin and lying that enslave us. Let's be people of honesty and make this moral commitment to ourselves, never to allow a willful falsehood to come out of our mouths with an intent to deceive. God bless you, everybody. Know and love the truth.